Hi there, this is David, and I'm coming to you with some new RPG news. We have news about Golden Sun, Dragon Quest Treasures, Tactics Ogre Reborn, Advance Wars, Legend of Heroes Trails of Zero, and Yakuza 8. So lots and lots and lots of stuff to discuss today, so let's go ahead and get started. First up with Golden Sun. We haven't really heard a lot about this since the DS age. It's been about a decade since we've gotten a new Golden Sun game. These games are some of my absolute favorites. Beginning on the Game Boy Advance and then going on to the Nintendo DS. They are turn-based RPGs with a major, major focus on puzzles. I talked about them pretty extensively in my last top 10 best RPG puzzles list. They have turn-based battles, world maps, fun stories, great characters, and I love them. But Camelot's kind of dropped the ball on them recently, so it's kind of been dead in the water. But we have some news that maybe we're going to hear more about them. Camelot has now updated their company website, and they did make some changes. They added in some new high-quality Golden Sun renders, and they even put Isaac on the front page, and he's kind of like hopping around and stuff too. It also says that they are now hiring for some game designers, planners, world map designers, <laughs> and that they're planning to develop both sports games and RPGs. So, well, whereas they have been making a lot of like Mario sports and Mario golf and tennis and stuff like that, recently they've kind of dropped the ball on Golden Sun. It looks like now they're picking back up steam. I know that RPGs are in a resurgence, and it would be great to get this series back um, into the fold. We have our first look at Yakuza 8. The Yakuza series has been around since I want to say like the PlayStation 2 era. It's been around for a while, but it's flown under my radar because it really wasn't my cup of tea. It was more of a sandboxy, beat em up sort of game, open world, that sort of thing. It wasn't really JRPG, but that all changed with Yakuza Like a Dragon or Yakuza 7. So much so that the developers even went out and said, hey, you know, even though this started out as like an April Fool's joke and it really did, Like a Dragon was so well received that. All of the Yakuza games going forward are going to be in the turn back based format. So we have our first look at Yakuza 8, and honestly, there's not really much to look at here, but I thought that I'd bring it up because, hey, I like the game. It's pretty much just kind of proof of concept, proof that it does exist. An MMA fighter named Makuru Asakura posted a YouTube video of himself touring Sega Studio and he shared some behind-the-scenes shots of the game because he is going to be in it. He was filmed for like some fighting scenes or whatever in the game. This video, it's right along 17 minutes. It's all in Japanese, but there are some screenshots, as you can see, um, of the game, and there's some more down here. So Ichiban is going to be in it. It says that he has his hair tied back. And Namba and Aichi are going to be in the game as well. We don't know if they're going to be main characters or if they're just going to be making cameos. Um, that much we don't know. We don't really know anything else about it except for just these little scant screenshots. It also says that it will feature a brand new town. So, um, so we are going to get to explore a whole new Japanese city. So yeah, this is pretty exciting. I loved like a dragon, and I cannot wait for Yakuza 8 as well. Next up, we have a rumor about Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. This was supposed to release quite some time ago, but it got delayed because of the war outbreak in Ukraine. So now we have a rumor saying that it's going to release in February 24th of 2023. So, again, this is a rumor. Again, do take it with a grain of salt. And that date also marks one year since the beginning of the invasion of Ukraine. So maybe they just delayed it for a year. Maybe it's somebody causing a rumor, but this rumor uh, had enough credence that RPG Fan itself did um, report on it. So I'm going to report on it here as well. Um, I loved the Advance Wars games. 
back on the Game Boy Advance, so having them both together in the Switch collection would be just music to my ears. They are just fantastic. Turn-based strategy RPG games in the same vein as something like Fire Emblem, except with, you know, tanks, essentially. It's like a more modern-day kind of Fire Emblem sort of thing. Next thing to talk about, Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero has a new gameplay trailer. Many of you who've been following my channel for quite a bit of time now already have seen this game, already know all about it, considering I did do a Let's Play of the PSP version whenever it was first translated into English unofficially. This release, right here on September 27th, is going to be the first official release of Trails of Zero of the Crossbell Duology. So, for those of you kind of confused about the Trails series, let me just talk about that for just a minute. That first started with Trails in the Sky back on the PSP that was released in English. Then we got um, Second Chapter also released on the PSP, released in English. That I think that was like the final release for the PSP. That thing took a while to come out. Then later on, we got the third chapter, but I believe that that was only released on the PC. Then they skipped the Crossbow Duology, which is Zero and Azure, which is what you're seeing right here, and they moved on to the Cold Steel series, which was released on the PS3, as well as PS4 and PC, Trails of Cold Steel 1 through 4. So these two games here, they're kind of the missing link in the Trails series, and now to finally get them in HD, in a quality English translation, hey, I am all about it. This is coming out on the PlayStation 4, the Switch, and the PC on September 27th in North America and September 30th in Europe. If you are a fan of the Trail series, and but you haven't played these because you were waiting for the official release, now's the time. Seize the day and get this game. And now for probably my most anticipated game of the year, Dragon Quest Treasures. We got a new trailer that details the story, characters, and the gameplay itself. So lots and lots of stuff to talk about here. So we know that it stars Eric and Mia of Dragon Quest XI fame as they go sailing around when they're little kids and they encounter little spirit guides, Porcus and Persila. Porcus is going to be Eric's spirit guide, Persila, Mia's spirit guide. And they whisk them away to a mysterious land called Dragonia a legendary land full of monsters and treasures just waiting to be discovered. You can actually choose to play as either one of them, it does not matter, and the events will unfold a little bit differently depending on who you choose. Your goal is to search for the seven mythical dragon stones, but Eric and Mia can't do it by themselves. They have to use their spirit guides to gather monsters, and, um, you know, fight alongside them in a turn-based fashion. It looks fan freaking tastic There are so many screenshots here. We have English screenshots, Japanese screenshots. It looks great. While you're out there fighting and gathering monsters and all that kind of stuff, you're also going to be getting treasures. Look at this world map. Look at the little islands. I love Dragon Quest. It's so cool. It says that it's made up of numerous islands, all of which have their own unique characteristics, and the monsters that inhabit each island are different as well. You can use your dragon daggers to communicate and cooperate with the monsters, and then use their abilities to find the various treasures and to make your way around the islands. Like here, we it has Mia using the draki to kind of float over the lava there, so that's pretty cool. Here's some pictures of the battles right there. Look as like they're using a um, a little magic drakey over there, um, a knight and a king ogre or orc, I believe, right there. Yeah, you can fight alongside them. You got Eric's over here riding a cyclops. So cool. I love it. So it says here you can use your fortune finder to look for the treasure, and then you just kind of head in the direction indicated by the arrow and um, you can trigger treasure visions to see the buried treasures through the monster's eyes. So it almost kind of reminds me of searching for treasure in Final Fantasy IX with like the Chogographs a little bit. 
uh, because it looks like they have like kind of like these choke graph things up in the upper left hand corner and you kind of have to find them so that's kind of neat it's a different twist on the dragon quest monsters genre right there here we have the villains um they look very anime just typical villains right there rivals almost like a pokemon sort of rival thing happening right there you can appraise your treasures and get different values and stuff this looks great this is coming out on the switch december 9th and finally the last thing on my list of things to talk about tactics ogre reborn now we have a description screenshots release date all sorts of stuff this is a remastered version of the psp release which was a remake of the 1995 snes and playstation release so this game has been going on for quite a bit of time the leak originated on a playstation store it says on a playstation store price tracking website called ps deals so we know for a fact that it's kind of come out on the ps5 and ps4 but it may also come out on the pc or other systems we just don't know yet because it hasn't been officially renounced uh, announced so we have a lot of information about it so let me just go ahead and read through a bunch of this stuff right here that we have it says that it's a tactical role-playing game depicting the struggle for control of the valerian isles um if you've played something like final fantasy tactics then you know how this game plays out this is actually the precursor to Final Fantasy Tactics. This, this game came first. But unlike Tactics, where you play through one story and you get to one ending, here your choices affect how the story unfolds and even how it ends. So there are multiple paths through the game with multiple endings. You can make your decisions and shift the course of Valeria's history. We have isometric viewpoint on three-dimensional battlefields with a completely revamped AI. So the battle will always keep you thinking. And this, this to me is the clincher. The thing that's making me say, hallelujah, I want this thing. In the PSP version of the game, they used a class-wide leveling system and it blew now instead they're going to be using a unit by unit leveling system so you just level up your unit you don't have to level up every single freaking class so it makes it so much better i cannot wait to play it through um in this definitive way also we have it says numerous quality of life improvements such as a quicker pace of battle and auto save a complete overhaul to the controls to make the ui even easier to get into than ever before so that's really, really nice. Cutscenes fully voiced in English and Japanese, and all the music has been recorded with live performances. How cool is that? Then, when you advance far enough, you're going to unlock the World Tarot, enabling you to travel back into the story with all of your forces intact, so that if you want to be like, hey, I saw how this storyline, you know, played out, but how does this storyline play out? I want to go back and see that branching path too you can and you're not going to lose your characters so that's cool then just like in the psp version um you can use the chariot tarot to rewind um moves in battle i want to say that you could rewind like a hundred moves in the psp version maybe it was 50 moves in the psp version i don't exactly remember but you could rewind in battle if you like made mistakes because the battle system can be pretty hard then there's end game content such as the 100 level palace of the dead so that's really neat. I am looking forward to this. This looks fantastic. I love a good traditional turn-based tactical RPG taking place in medieval times like this game. This looks great. What are y'all most looking forward to that I've talked about today? Let me know in the comments. And if there's anything that I haven't talked about that you want me to talk about, let me know about that in the comments too. And I'll look it up for a future video as well. Hope that y'all have a good day.